What's up YouTube? This is Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with a real quick video. And for some reason my camera's all fuzzy and I'm sorry about that. Let's see, can I I'll figure it out later. But uh Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to address this, but you can probably tell from the title of the video that Ethan Klein Ethan Klein said a disturbing thing and attacked Ben Shapiro in the process. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I'm free speech, dude. I don't care, usually. I'm more pointing this out because I think this is going to show Twitter's hypocrisy. Plus, it continues to show that Ethan Klein is a freaking monster. Like, this is not a good dude. This is a horrific dude. And as you can see, I literally just got off work. I have my soda right here. Oh, look, it's Casey's. It's the Midwest brand. Uh, several states out of ten. I'm not doxing myself. But, uh... <clears throat> I really don't know how to show... Uh, I'm just... I'm going to cut it off after a little bit because it is a uh, channel still new, very small, but uh, I guess I'm just going to have to go for it. And if I get taken down, I get taken down. Let's just say you can work out the the math. And he ends that by saying that uh, the first person they should take out is Ben. What the literal ha ha? So <clears throat> again, I like free speech. I like the fact that he said this. But on YouTube TOS, you can't say stuff like this now, can you? Shout out to the Hodge twins for, uh, and yeah, to, true. Like, I don't get political on my channel. I don't. But this is something that has to be said. This is not okay. And what I also like to do on my channel is show some of the hypocrisies of YouTube. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main scene. But uh, <clears throat> Nick Ricada got banned because of a clip from his show where people then added context that he never said, and he, which led to a mass flagging campaign got his channel taken down for three days, brought back up because a strike finally got taken down, so his channel got back, but he still had a strike. I think he still has a strike, or a strike just recently come off, but he's not coming back to YouTube. He, he'll use it just to put clips up. You then have just last re week, Robert Gavea, I want to say is his his name. He's a lawyer. Another LawTube kind of guy. I like LawTube. Okay. Let, 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 I'll be honest. I like LawTube. I have long days at work. I like to throw on trials. But Robert Gabea, all he was doing was talking about a lawsuit. I don't remember if it was a previous trial or an ongoing trial. But that's all he was doing. And his channel got nuked. Got back pretty quickly. This is not the first time Ethan Klein has called for some form. He he didn't call for violence. Let me be fair. But this isn't the first time he has blatantly crossed TOS. <clears throat> now, to be honest, I don't like YouTube's TOS. I think it's so, so stupid. The things that happen on it. The things that get caught are weird, and the things that get passed, it, it's a mess. But what I'm trying to say is, Nick got taken down because of BS. Robert Gavea got taken down because of BS. What's going to happen here? Because when Ethan Klein called for essentially a terrorist attack, 
and then had to walk his statements back just a little bit, but continued calling for a terrorist attack on an NRA convention. He just hit, got hit with a one week, one week suspension. That's probably already off. What what's gonna happen with this one? And how many times is he going to be allowed to just? I'm gonna call up my friends over at YouTube and say. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Ethan Klein is a horrible, horrible human being and a monster. And I guess that's what this whole week has been, is just calling out the horrible people. I didn't... What's... What more is there to say? Because I don't want to call for his... Him being taken down. Because... I don't believe in that, but at the same time, like, this is not... This is not okay! <clears throat> But I think it also continues to... Because with the free speech aspect, you got to see who Ethan Klein really was. We have seen him do this time and time again. So are you going to hold true to your TOS and hit him with the with a suspension or something because that's crossing a line especially with what he was saying heck I'm still scared that this video might get taken down just because of what he said bringing up the certain demographic that I'm scared to even mention because again I don't have the protections that he does I don't even have the protections that geeks and gamers have I'm just some small dude And I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I guess this is going to be another interesting video saga for me to start. But, uh, but as you could see from my own tweet, and I'll pull it back up. Like, when I, when I saw what he said, and I'm not going to play what he said. I barely want to give him any screen time. But when I saw what he said... <clears throat> I, I literally didn't know what to say. And we can go onto the tweet. Again, I'm not you're not getting any screen time. Yep. Yeah. If MTG said it out loud, other conservatives would would split as to say things things like she was taken out of context, she was misquoted, she never said it, she's a victim of the deep state. In other words, well, this guy's wrong. But when you go to the quote tweets here. Sweet, sweet darling. Where is she? People are. How, I wonder how Ben Shapiro thinks about this. Yeah. He's not even religious. You, there was a good one. But I saw my nerdy homes, the one that actually like tweet, retweeted it, and I saw it. here. Here we go, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, who's the initial reason I saw this was even a thing, was because of Jeremy. Leftists are horrible people, holy ish. I don't know how to respond to this because again, I'm not trying to get political here I'm trying to point out some hypocrisy also isn't his wife from Israel isn't his wife part Jewish like you you thought this was okay to say granted again I'm happy he said it I'm extremely happy he said it because it shows who who he truly is. With that, guys, I'm not really feeling like I should say what my usual end slogan, but I I seriously don't know what else, what more to say, because I don't want his channel taken down.
but by the TOS stuff that even I don't agree with. YouTube kind of has to do something. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.